And we are live with episode 14 of the Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero. And today we get to confront an assassin, but before that, um, we gotta do a quest. <sighs> Super secret quest. The lack of voice acting is weird. Think of it, there's a notebook back, the physics, blah, blah, blah. Go away. Anyway, uh, is it here? No. It's the one room we were with at the beginning of the game. Yeah, there we go. No, no, no. Oh, come now. Where could I put it? Huh? The special sports section. Hm. What are you all lo loitering around for? Can't you see I'm busy? Scram. Right. Sorry about that. Huh? Is that smell booze? <gasps> It's Vice Commissioner Jack Ass! Douchebag Extraordinaire! And he's drunk, apparently. Sucks to suck. Yeesh, Vice Commissioner Jack Ass seems even more pissed off than usual. I don't particularly enjoy being scolded for the sport of it, so let's escape his temper while we still can. Wait a minute. Have you stumbled across a ring anywhere in the city? It's a wedding ring adorned with the most beautiful carnelia you'll find. A wedding ring? Where did this stuff come from? Uh, I don't think so. Have you, Ellie? No, I don't recall coming across anything like that. Same, nada. Likewise, Vice Commissioner Pierre, did you perhaps lose your wedding ring? Oh. Oh, sweet Adios, if she finds out about this. Oh, boy! <laughs> Tell her. It sounds like the Vice Commissioner's wife really has him on a leash. Um, sir, we could possibly track it down for you if you give us a little bit more information. Really? Cough. It's nothing to fuss about, really. I may have misplaced my wedding ring last night. I started looking for it, searching every nook and cranny, and then checking again, but it's nowhere to be found. Just like I thought, I must have dropped it somewhere in the entertainment district. Yeah. The entertainment district. Oh no! Don't give me those condescending looks. I just went to relax and have a few drinks. Afterwards, I played a few games, roulette, the casino, and returned home. That's it. I know I had the ring on me at the time. I'm sure of it. Admittedly, I had a drink in a bit that night, and I don't actually remember anything past leaving the casino. But that's the truth, I swear. <laughs> you do not have any memories after leaving Barca? No, not a single one. Sounds like he blacked out. No surprise, given how much he still reeks of booze. If we drop something that swirls a ring somewhere out in the city, the odds of finding it are in our favor. No kidding, and if the Vice Commissioner was as drunk as we think he was, the fall here is entirely his. Excuse the Vice Commissioner, do you have a, handker a handkerchief or something similar on you? We might be able to pinpoint your ring's location if we can borrow it. What? Do you have a some plan in mind? Yeah, I do, thanks. You have lost me, Lloyd. What do you plan to do with something like this? Well, I thought we could try to use Zeit's nose <laughs> to track down his set. Asshole. At this rate, the Vice Commissioner seems to be on the verge of a panic attack, so let's go see if Zeit do really the hell. 
Oh no. Of course, it, uh, oh, it looks like Zayt doesn't want to help us, but he's going to help us anyway. Oh, look, dude, I don't want to help this dude. <laughs> it's like Zayt doesn't want to, but he's going to do it anyway. I mean, mood. Like, actually mood. Like, who the hell wants to, um, I, I don't remember where he is. Anyway. He's probably in the lobby. Oh, hey, look, he's in the lobby. There he is. To try asking for Zite's help. Yes, I'm certain that Zite's nose will allow us to accurately follow the Vice Commissioner's trail. Would you explain the situation to him and ask if he's willing to cooperate? This will inform Zite of the quest and ask if he would lend a paw. And so, we're hoping that you'd help us out with the support request. Uh, Zite, did you hear a word I just said? Gerwolf. Mm, that doesn't sound like a yeah, no prob. Maybe he's not interested. No, I think it'll ultimately assist. Yeah, for the disappointing lot to call upon me for something so mundane. <laughs> hey. He is simply grumbling. It's like, I have unlimited combat potential. Hey, can you help us find this ring that some idiot dropped? Honestly, again, mood. Lord, you please show Zite the handkerchief. Sure thing, here you go. Zai, this is our target scent. Can you remember it? Sniff, Gur. What an unpleasant smell. <laughs> yeah. Gur wolf. He says, considering how hopeless you are, I shall help. Talk to me when you are prepared to leave. Damn, sorry we're so inept, your highness. <laughs> oh, come on! Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll listen to this later. Hey, yo, someone woke up on the wrong side of the doggy bed today. Randy, shut up. Conducting a search of the police dog. We're finally doing some typical police work, aren't we? <laughs> yeah? It's too bad it's this level of ridiculous. The search might take some time, so let's prepare beforehand. It sounds like a plan. I should probably turn on the AC. So our preparing beforehand will be me turning on the AC because I forget that my jet engine of a computer and my jet engine of a PS4 Pro both heat up my room like fucking crazy. All right, then our first stop will be the entertainment district. And the vice commissioner claimed he still had it when he left the casino, so our best bet is to start there. Okay, which direction did the vice commissioner go from here? Sniff, sniff. <laughs> East, he says. Great, let's try retracing his steps using Zeit's nose. The ring has to be around here somewhere. We've just got to keep an extra close eye out while we're following the trail. Hey Lloyd, don't you think it's inefficient for the four of us to search together? We're talking about the entire district here. Wouldn't it make more sense to have Zite narrow down the location first? Uh, yeah, wouldn't want to waste our energy. Ellie, Randy, you two mind waiting on standby for now? After T and I have narrowed down the ring's location, we'll come get you. Sounds like a plan to me, my man. Now, what's this place got in store for Randy today? Wait! He immediately sees the opportunity. There's no point in trying to change him. Well, it'll be alright. We can just give him a call when we're ready. I'll be waiting on standby over by that food cart. Thanks, Sally. Of course, see you later, everyone. Hey! I mean, I still find it funny that yesterday, um, Mario Bell just ripped into him. Shall we begin then? Yep, let's do this. Remember that? We'll be walking ahead of you, so make sure we don't take any wrong turns. Wolf. Um... Bench? Really? Wolf. You smell something, Zite. There's a vice commissioner briefly stopped here for a rest. Uh. 
Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go through the top. I don't remember if Randy had thing. Ugh. Why should you cut through the hotel after getting drunk? It's a rule of behavior for a drunkard. Yeah, but it doesn't seem like he dropped anything in there. Girl wolf. Zyke claims that he went south next. South we go then. Apparently it wants us to go to Melda. Sniff sniff. Wolf. Oh, it sounds like Zyke's got a hit. A guy must have passed by here. It's advised to continue in this direction. Okay. Grr. He appears to have tracked the vice commissioner set inside of the shop. Melda might be able to help us out. Excuse us, ma'am. We'd like to ask you a few questions about. Oh, the first sword section, eh? Eh, <laughs> finally fired from the CPD. Were you. Were we. What? No. Um, anyway, this might be a bit of an odd question, but did you see an intoxicated man stumble in here last night? <laughs> By any chance, did you see our boss stumble in here like a fucking drunkard? Like the useless drunkard he is. Apparently also something in the area around here. Ah, oh, you're talking about that fox-faced fella. Now think about it, he did reek uh, of cheap wine as he crashed through my door. No, he was raving about his wife stealing his secret savings. Then the next, he was begging desperately for forgiveness. The little tired dragged on and on till he eventually burned himself out. Then he left saying he needed another drink. <laughs> Jeez, he was further gone than we thought, wasn't he? We apologize on, beha on his behalf, ma'am. It's fine, tell him that next time he stops by, I expect him to buy one of my finest jewels. If he can't find the wedding ring, he might just have to. <gasps> yup! Appreciate your help. Have a nice rest of your day, ma'am. Yeah, I missed this location then. We should continue the search. Yeah, let's get moving. There's only one place left in this area. Wolf, wolf. Wait. Wait, this isn't right? Indeed, it seems this is not the correct route. Did I pass it? No. Oh. Welcome to go around. Can I help you with something? I have a potentially awkward question. Did you happen to see the vice commissioner of the CPD here last night? He's a bit on the short side, has a face like a fox. Oh, he must be talking about Pierre. He stopped by for a little while last night. It looked to me like he was dead drunk already, though. The vice commissioner seems to have misplaced his wedding ring. Do you know if anyone happened to see it in here? No, I don't. I see. Talk about being blunt. I think about it. He was really throwing a fit about his wife. He even talked about leaving her. Without that, I kept trying to hit on a hostess all night. That's uh definitely not what I was expecting to hear. In a perfect world, we would not have to ha ha we would not have had to. Yeah. The hostess I'm talking about is Sandra. She's sitting at the counter over there. I want to try uh, to ask her about what happened. So you'll have to manage to wake her up first. Good idea. Did he still have his wedding ring on when he was here? We should try to confirm that with Sandra. Oh no. Oh no. Oops. Sniff sniff. Grr. No good. Damn. I wanna I wanna play the violin again. Sniff sniff. Woof. It's a hit? Zai claims that the vice commissioner must have sat here to drink. Fuck. I didn't want to talk to Sancho. Anyway, uh, excuse me, we're with the crossbow police. Mm, let me sleep, Eric. She appears to be fast asleep. Guess we have no other choice. L Lloyd took the woman's shoulder. Excuse me, ma'am. We're the, the Crossbell Police. <laughs> I'm not yelling. Mm, geez, what do you want? Sorry to ruin your sleep, but there's something we need to ask you. We heard you spent some time with Vice Commissioner Pierre last night. Do you remember if he was wearing his wedding ring at the time? Vice Commissioner, ah, oh, that fox-faced weirdo who kept trying to hit on me. I told him that I only like young men, and yet... 
That old geezer just kept going on and on. Oh, but you're so gorgeous. Shut up. She's too drunk. I know this will get us anywhere. In all the situation, it appears as if she just kept drinking the night away. She drinks too much alcohol. Besides, the guy treated me to a ton of drinks. And then at one point, he grabbed my hands and squeezed them real tight. Serenity's gonna leave his wife and we're gonna be together forever. I'm really not sure how much more of this I can take. Why do we cut our losses here? Yes, yeah, definitely coerce any more information may prove fruitless. Hold on a second. Didn't he give me something before he left? <laughs> he gave me something. Oh, this is it. I hate the man. I hate the man. Anyway, Carnelian wedding ring. A present for a beautiful maiden, blah, blah, blah. I kept insisting it wasn't my type at all, but what can you do? You kids can keep it. Hey. This was not how I anticipated we would find the missing ring. Wait, he even drop it. He gave it to another woman. Um, is something wrong? What a disappointing finale! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm with Zeit on this. So, did you find it? You did actually find the ring, right? Yes, sir, we've retrieved the ring. Please try to calm down, Vice Commissioner. What are you trying to say? Is it so funny to you all that I'm in hysterics over a mere ring? And I'm terrified of my wife? Is it? Yes! Fucking... Beyond hilarious. Get wrecked up. No, sir, of course not. Um, anyway, here's our report. You're drunk. And that's where our investigative investigation concluded. We we're fortunate enough to persuade the hostess to return the ring. What? You surely must be joking, right? There must be some kind of mistake. I did something like that. Me, of all people? Oh. This little carnelian beauty fits your description to, of it to a T. Wow, night, eh, Vice Commish? Zayed's key knows is able to also confirm the ring as yours. Well, uh, maybe it'd be better if you saw it for yourself. Here's the ring we found. Ha, ah, there's no way this is it. it. Cough, cough. Good work, you you all are dismissed. However, this little incident, it's remained strictly confidential. Not even Sergei can know, not a peep out of you. Do I make myself clear? Okay, but I believe you have forgotten to thank the site. Claire. Understood. Not to worry, Zite. We will reward you intensively with these treats later. <laughs> Phew, saved by the skin of my teeth. Everything will be okay, Pierre. Well, he sure looks relieved. Who would have thought that the face... Who would have thought that face was capable of anything but a scowl? I say this is case closed. We shouldn't disturb him anymore. Let's get back to work. In agreeable plan. So, uh, time to go write him out. Hey, Fran! I got a report for you. Uh, it's going to be at all level though. Oh yeah, I should go to see it. Anyway. Oh, her sister. Okay, first things first. Um, entertainment, administrative district. Try to give Shion the key. Okay. I actively tried to get all of the chests in, in Sky, and I'm just not even bothering right now. Oh, you're back already. We will complete the task. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, but well, we might have some new problems on our hands now. <laughs> Not sure what you're referring to. Anyway, you're welcome to hold on to the key in case you intend on returning to the Jewel That way you won't need to ask me every time you want to enter. Thanks, we'll take you up on the offer. It works out since I'm a little worried about Jonah. Okay, at the entertainment district. Chief Sergei! Oh, Chief Roberts. I wanna talk to Sergei. Talk to everyone else. Everyone else is uh, inconsequential. <sighs> Arkansas. Hello there, Tio. I've heard this place offers some absolutely scrumptious ice cream. Do you think it's true? Is it from the foundation, Tio? You think we should tell him about Jonah? No need. Let's keep this bit of information to ourselves for now. They're all served as, per as perfect blackmail material. 
Damn, Tio, you're just gonna throw him under the bus, freezes your every whim? That's cold, ice cold. <laughs> There's no question the children at the FC Foundation are both too pissed for that. Ah, I think I may have just like. So I figured out my problem with, um, at least with this, uh, it's because the overhead cam it stays on for some reason, it's not deactivating. Even though it should. Anyway. Uh, and Arisha inside. Arisha Mao. Uh, now the question is, is she... All the way in, or no, that's just some dude. Unimportant. Looks like a bunch of men. We don't care about them. The fancy schmancy seats. Probably in one of the side rooms that I'm forgetting. Oh, jeez. <sighs> okay, she's not gonna be in the in the, in the fancy fancy seating. A bunch of weirdos. So good matter, Isha. Oh no, it's nothing. I'm just feeling a little anxious with the preview uh, from Strong Near. Oh yeah, isn't that thing a week from now? Yes, yeah, so we'll be applying the finishing touches to the performance starting tomorrow. I must focus and put everything I have into practicing. I don't want to fall behind and become a burden to the others. Okay, and then... Wall Street. Now we can talk to Zeit. Zeit, 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 Zeit. Oh, we should probably um, up our CP. Thanks for all you today, Zeit. I'll never underestimate your nose again. Yes, he's our irreplaceable police dog. Good boy. I'll make sure to ask you for help whenever we need to find evidence. Wolfgang. Try to provide me with an actual challenge next time. He is boasting again. Someone's got a mouth on him. To be fair, he probably did the most work on this request out of any of us. Okay, Zai, from now on, we'll be counting on that keen nose of yours. Gert? Yes, you must sleep for a bit. Things could become dangerous, though. Your wolf. Uh, Tia, what do you say? He knows we are searching for something. But worry not, I'll help you when needed, he says. Dependable as always. Indeed, when the going gets tough, Zite never fails to help us out. Mm, go with haste. Be slow to a being slow to action is a frequent weakness of yours. It's worth not mine. Bro, you don't need to roast us like that! Anyway. Uh, entertainment district, because... I need some heals. The town's hotel took charge of the relief efforts provided a lot of victims. Such acts of kindness are critical of what it means to brothers. I wish our hotel. I wish for our hotel to follow their example. Okay, then how about giving me a discount? Mister, I'm charging you 800 Mira. We just got no fucking seven. <sighs> anyway. Mm 
Lewis Ursula Road. All right. I might be screenshotting the Stargazer's Tower if I can get it. Stargazer's Tower is that is this way, right? Based on our position, I believe so. We'll know where to go but forward. Indeed. Okay, not yet. Uh, Cast, Tira Bomb, Korea Bomb, and Capricorn Gem. I don't know what the Capricorn Gem does. Wait, I can just check. Capricorn Gem is one of the max, um, the max Earth Zeppelins. Space EP3 versus Solar Gem. There's no EP, like, oh, what the hell? They removed the EP cut one, sort of. It's it just, it's just EP cut three now. Well, that's unfortunate. Although, I will say, Solar Gem. Mine 3? No, EP3. EP3. And then... The Lunar Gem. Oh, Lunar Gem. Time, Space, and Mirage. That's interesting. But then that makes me wonder, do the Max... Uh, Mirage... Attack all, Avalon Gate, it requires four, which I think is just the last one. Okay, and then space is, attack L is just space. Time, attack L. Okay. Okay. I won't bother with it. It's a monster chest. I can just buy it.
Did that thing just stare at us and then just ignore us? That's funny. I don't know if the screenshot thing is showing up for you guys. <laughs> huh? Who that and why are they here? There's Stargazer's Tower. Looks like we went the right way. Wait, is that what I think it is? Guardian Force car, it seems so. Yep, that's one of the C CGF's fancy light armored cars. What's it doing here, though? The quickest way to find out would be to ask them directly. Is that Noel? Am I gonna bu It is! Who's responsible for this? Can't imagine anyone would actually want to go into that crumbling old ruin. Hey! Time to yeet Lloyd! Oh, it's you guys. I thought it was you. Fancy meeting you here. Lloyd? Randy? Ellie and Tio too. Long time no see, Sergeant Major Seeker. We appreciate all the help you gave us in Mains. Don't mention it. So it brings the SSS to Stargazer's Tower. A request. Wow, there's no map of thingy. There's literally no map. That's annoying. Uh, it's a good tower. It's exactly a common place for people to visit. We're here as part of another investigation. But, um, what happened to the barricade here? I can't imagine why, but someone decided to destroy it. We put it up in the first place to stop people from wandering into the tower. Given its age and the monsters in there, it's a pretty dangerous place. I was on my regular patrol when I found the barricade like this. You don't say. Well, well, convenient timing for it to be destroyed today of all days. Pretty sure I can make a guess who the culprit was. Me too. Huh? Well, here's the gist of it. An assassin from the Eastern Quarter. That's right. We received a message from him saying he'd be waiting for us in this tower. We came here knowing there was a chance it was just a ruse. But it looks like he was serious about waiting. Waiting here for us. So I'm guessing the way they get the map is to pull it from the game. For us. Wow, I had no idea. So what did the four of you plan to do? They'll tell me you're just going to do what he told you and walk in there. Actually, that's exactly what we're going to do. What? You're dealing with an incredibly dangerous criminal. This has got to be some kind of trap. We should contact Deputy Commander Bells and request backup for the time being. <laughs> nah, this guy's a pro. Reroll in with an army and he'll just scamper off into the shadows. A smaller unit's the right call for this situation. That's a fair point. In that case, I won't stop you. However, I ask that you allow me to go with you and assist. Are you sure? Sergeant Major, are you allowed to do that? This tower is under the Guardian Force's jurisdiction. I would be neglecting my duty if I let you wander into danger alone. Besides, it's the least I can do since you're always looking after Fred. Sergeant Major Noel Seeker of the CGF is locked, loaded, and ready to help. Wow, thank you. But to be honest, Fred's usually the one looking after us. Hey, the more the merrier, right? You seem like you know your way around the battlefield. We'd be happy to have you along. I concur. Having backup would improve our combat capabilities immensely. The question now is whether or not Yin will be put on edge because we have a CGF officer with us. Surely one person won't be an issue, I hope. Yeah, I think we're safe. I'm looking forward to working with you, Sergeant Major. Likewise. Hey! Noel, join the party as a guest character. 
When there are more than four members in the card, an extra member will act as support members. Members remain outside the front lines of battle, but may occasionally appear in the AT bar to perform various acts, attacks or buffs on their turn. Our members may, can be swapped, uh, blah, blah, blah. You can sell them as an attack member or swap bringer with an LET or red. Cool. Um. Wow, I can't believe Randy disappeared on us. Oh no. Yeah, I don't care. Ooh, Ponce. I'm gonna go with this. You could have an effort since I don't know what to do with it. Defense two? Um, do I have defense two? No. Hey, look! Wait, do I not have both? That's weird. That's weird that I don't have both. Oh, the information one. Mm, I don't know. So yeah, it's a fucking- I, I hit this place is something else. Yep! It's amazing. If I recall, this tower was built during the Middle Ages. And are these sparkling lights floating in the air of fireflies? Yes, it seems so. It's been nearly 10 years since this tower was cordoned off. Truth be told, I always thought it'd be smart to conduct a proper investigation of this place. That, that would go over well with our ch with your chicken shit, Commander. I can picture him saying, Sergeant Major Seeker, that would be a waste of our precious budget. In Impeccable impression. He was your superior when you were in the CGF, right, Randy? Sure, I'm lucky to work under Deputy Commander Bells. If I had to work with him instead, I'd probably cut the force. Gee, I wonder why Randy's not in the force. <laughs> That's sort of what happened with me, actually. Oh, I didn't realize. Wait a minute, Randy. Didn't you say you lost your job with the Garden Force because of your inappropriate conduct with your female co-workers? Yeah, he definitely mentioned that. Well, I guess that played a part, too. Mm, that's odd. My friend stationed at Belgard Gate never once brought up Randy acting like a playboy or anything like that. Yeah, well, you'd be surprised how complex relationships can be. Something up, Tio? I think so. This tower appears to be different from every other place we have investigated thus far. Oh, how so? Yeah, what do you mean by that? Earth, water, fire, wind. Along with those four basic elements, I am detecting the presence of the higher elements here as well. Yup! Oh, fuck, we're already cursed. So in other words, the elements of Orbal Arts. Precisely. As you may be aware, many monsters have weaknesses to Earth, Water, Fire, and Wind Arts. The higher elements, Time, Space, and Mirage, are very powerful, but under normal circumstances, monsters are not weak to them. This place appears to follow very different rules. Well, I'm not an Orbal expert, so I can't claim to understand everything you just said. But sum it up, Arts aren't going to act like they usually do, right? Yes, that is the general idea. Wait, do you hear that? Monster? No, worse. Look out! Uh... Archaisms, I believe it's called? 
What are these? You gotta be kidding me. Get ready, everyone. Here they come. Oh, what are her crafts? Hold on. Pest grenade. M1. M. M. I have anti ho uh, Well, I have fully trained on everyone but Fred. Not Fred, no. Way. We need an auto battle. Just auto battle prioritize using only attack. Lol, get holy chain, bitch. those things. They definitely weren't your run-of-the-mill monsters, that's for sure. I don't think they were people either. I doubt it'd be possible for a person to move around in such bulky armor. Who were they ghosts? It's hard to tell. All I can say is that they were not controlled by Ormans. It's possible they were golems created by alchemists from the Middle Ages. Sounds like a stretch to me. How could something from way back then still be moving? You think these might be his traps Yen laid out for us? <sighs> I can't say for sure. At the very least, we've confirmed what Tia said before the fight. Right, something about that battle felt strange. Time, space, and mirage, they're the reason, right? Yes, there must be some sort of spiritual disturbance here. I cannot provide much more information than that without proper equipment. I knew it was a mistake to neglect this place. Everyone, we should head further in. I plan to conduct a thorough investigation of this tower no matter what. You can count on us, Sergeant Major. In certain special occasions, such as ruins from the Middle Ages, the three higher elements, time, space, and mirage, will be present. So much may be more effective here, and you may encounter new a AT bosses with unusual effects. Be sure to keep an eye out and plan accordingly. <laughs> Look, guys, there's a map that does it. Preemptive attack. I need to pay more attention to that. Does make me wonder something. If you counter death flow, do you get the death flow effect? I can't do orbital damage. It's immune to arts. It's immune to arts damage. Um, okay. Thank you. 
I'm just following the, 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 the like the, there's no map map, so I'm just following like. Probably undo the paralysis, hold on. <laughs> Completely forgot that's an option. I think that means that it, it gets a guard. Yeah. It's like a demerit type of thing. I'm not even trying to avoid the monsters right now because it's like I can't be asked. Remember, we're going up. Uh, I assume we go this way. Why is everyone bullying uh, Lloyd? Uh, um. Oh, I was hoping to get both in. I've never tried to do like a heal thing um, while I have death blow up. Get wrecked. You know, I would check to see if the support. Um, I heard the Streaker Corporation made offer to Noel. Please look forward to the latest Samiri for Noel sneakers. Wait, really? I could have just. No, I couldn't. I don't think I could. Hold on. Nope. No way. Okay, so I did go the right way. I was about to be like, excuse me. That's a new enemy. Oh, 
Oh, it resists death blow. I was about to be like, it survived? Yeah. Oh, she's not that far behind us, so which means we're, we're pretty much on par. Um, there's a monster chest somewhere here. Where are we supposed to go? No, that's downstairs. Holy bullet, 40. Because she does not have, like, an offensive move, so. It doesn't really matter if she doesn't have the full 200. Her max offensive move is 100 with... We got the item for that. Because apparently Petrify kills you. That was fun to learn in, uh, in Sky. Petrified and then hit, you die. And I'm like, oh, great. Mm. All right, before we go back inside, I'll be right back.
Uh, do, 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 do. You're back. Um. That's a dead end. Ah, uh, I was hoping to max party advantage it, but okay. Brave Smash for Christmas. No, it does continue. Okay. I keep not pressing X. I'm terrified because Noelle's, um... That, that would be why I'm terrified. Whatever. Great. So now all of uh, Ellie's turns are going to be used to recover my CP. Again. You know what they say? I wouldn't know though. I spent a lot of time here.
That literally does nothing. Because we, we, we have like a practically insta heal at this point. Because I, I want to use her S crap. Have it at least. One more. I'm a bit annoyed. Ellie lost 100. <laughs> I was about to.
We're never gonna get the 3.0. It's funny how, um, I'm ready for the I think I may have gotten the characters in, which sucks, but whatever. Whoa, what's all this? I've never seen bookshelves this big. Is that some sort of giant astral leaf? It's said that this tower was constructed by the ancient alchemists. You. That black outfit. It's about damn time you came out of the shadows. I've been waiting for you, SSS. Black Shrouded Man. <laughs> oh boy. But I see you brought along an unexpected guest. I'm just here as backup, don't mind me. Very well. So we finally meet face to face. I am known as Yid. I thank you for agreeing to my request. I imagine getting here was no small feat. It sure wasn't. You've had us running in circles for a while now. The monsters didn't make it easy either. Do we have you to thank for them too? I assure you, those strange beings were wandering these halls long before I arrived. I have been upon this place while searching for a way to keep my skills sharp, and found this tower's denizens the perfect prey. In fact, the whole structure has proven even more interesting than I expected. So they weren't near doing after all. I think it would be difficult for someone to fill the entire tower with those monsters, even if that someone was Yen. Now I know you must have a multitude of questions for me. Before that, allow me to administer the final test. Test? What are you planning? Weakness does not interest me. You possess the strength to fulfill my request. Come at me with all of your might. He does not appear to be bluffing. I like to say our numbers give us the edge here, but this guy is the real deal. Stay on your toes, everyone. There's no need to hold back. Right, let's give it everything we've got. And that's what I like to hear. Prepare yourselves. Oh, I should have switched them out. They said hold nothing back. And now I just need to figure out how to um, how to switch out Ellie for her thing. For Randy, and we've got the the full gauntlet of he didn't, you know, hold back. Oh, 2000! Yin, legendary assassin in the East Southern World, lures targets to death using many dark tools. It's not, it's not F, obviously, it's so cross, technically. Okay. Um... There's gotta be a way to switch in battle! There's no way to switch. Mm. 
There's no active way to switch. That's so weird. There probably is a way, and I'm just missing it. Because I'm pressing square, circle, obviously triangle doesn't do it. Is that how I change the map? No. Because L. No, they have a button. Okay. Hold on a second. Uh. Wow, there actually just isn't. Dead, dead. Well, he was supposed to be dead, dead. Oh. that did we beat him i am exhausted but we did it right no nah, he ain't done yet uh-huh your redhead friend has quite the keen senses what some sort of talisman when did he even he was over there the whole time Letting Adele take care of things while you kick back and observe the fight, eh? Might be a handy power, but damn, if that ain't rude to your guests. Eh? Oh, did I offend you? You have my sincerest apologies. However, I'm impressed you're able to keep up with my movement during the battle. Your eyes are sharp, I'll give you that much. Well, let's just say I've gotten a lot of practice in over the years. So, up for another round? I'll respectfully decline. I can't deny it, your strength is first class. At our level, we can't hold a candle to you. So what does someone like someone like you want with us? Oh, but Lloyd Bannings. Surely he must have some idea. Huh? Lloyd, what does he mean? I've done my research. Your investiga uh, investigative aptitude is nothing to scoff at. You should understand what I'm after. I do. Your request is likely about one thing. The threat letter. The mysterious threat letter that was sent to Arkham Seal for Ilya. That's your aim, isn't it? Precisely. But what exactly would I want to talk about regarding that letter? Well... The author. The author of the threat letter. It wasn't you, was it? What? Are you serious? It cannot be. Indeed. The in you see before you did not send that letter to Ilya Plotier. The true culprit is nothing more than an imposter. Looks like my hunch was right. Something felt off when we were conducting the investigation. The legendary assassin Yin, a demon hailing from the Eastern Quarter. 
The more we progressed with our investigation, the more we learned about who you are and how you operate. And with each new feat of yours we learned about, the threat letter began to look more and more amateurish in comparison. Even Ilya herself rushed it aside, thinking it was no more than a prank. That's right. Ilya Plotier's senses are keener than she knows. She most likely realized that she wasn't the threat letter's true aim. But if that is true, why was such a thing sent to Ark and Seal in the first place? Um, I'm not sure if I, if I have a full grasp on the situation, but couldn't this just be a simple prank by someone who doesn't like the truth? No, we can limit the suspects to people who knew that Yen had come to Crossbell. <laughs> hey, you revash the First Division. And any of their associates. Oh, huh. When you put it like that, the odds of this being a prank do seem incredibly low. Correct again, Banning. Still, Arkan Seal's new show would never be cancelled by a lone threat letter. What is curious is that the letter made sure to specifically mention Ilya. As a result, the First Division became involved and began to take extreme safety precautions. Precautions that covered the possibility of anything happening to her during the show. In other words, the true culprit behind the threat letter set sent it to draw attention away from something else they did. Or perhaps it was sent in order to divert attention from something they have yet to do. That is a likely scenario. I'd like to make a formal request. Uncover the culprit of stone by name and thwart their plan. Excuse me? What gives you the idea we'll take requests from the likes of you? Are you sure this is something you can afford to ignore? I have no slightest idea who this person is or what they intend to accomplish. However, surely you can see that they pose a serious threat. Maybe so. That very well could be the case, but why go out of your way to ask us for help? Why not do it yourself? Believe it or not, I'm somewhat preoccupied with my own responsibilities. Dealing with Revash alone keeps me plenty busy. Oh? So you really are assisting Heyu with their fight against the Mafia? Do you enjoy this, knowing we can't do anything about it? Uh, oh. Look! 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 It's nothing personal. It, 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 it's like, it, it, just, it just... There's no need to ta make such a racket. We'd rather avoid the guild, so we're careful not to involve any citizens in our bouts. Well, hey you is, at least. Yin. In any case, I will not allow someone to use my name without consequence. SSS, will you accept my request? Fine. We'll stop the truth culprit from carrying out their plan, but not for your sake, Yin. That suits me just fine. But where do we even begin? We have no leads, no idea who the culprit is, and no motive. I might have a lead for you. If the culprit's plan truly does involve or conceal, they must be planning to act on either the opening day of their performance or the day of the preview performance. I see, that would make sense. Yeah, it sure does. If they really want to cause a big scene, the opening day would be the best bet. Then again, the preview performance would be filled with many influential figures. Depending on their goals, that may be better. Precisely. I ask you to stay vigilant on both of those days. You will have to outwit the first division in order to be able to control the theater during the two performances. Once you accomplish that, then you can respond accordingly to whatever may transpire. Easier said than done, but still, you have a point. Getting access to the theater shouldn't pose a problem as long as we ask our conceal for permission. The real challenge will be trying to deceive the first division. Indeed, it is highly probable they will kick us out at first sight. Eh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. In any event, I'm glad to hear you've accepted my request. With that, I take my leave. I'll be expecting good news. Yin? Wait a second. Stop, don't move. Don't think you're getting away. They got away. I had no idea there was such a large bell up here. Never mind that, where the hell did the bastard run off to? Tio, scan the area. Roger. What? Did you find him? I am detecting a weak signal, but it is coming from the ground floor. He must have jumped directly off of the roof. Jumped? How's that possible? This guy, even human. I'm at a loss for words. It seems like this yin isn't someone to be taken lightly. Yeah, no shit. Hey, we're back at Crossbow.
Okay, um, before we do this scene, I'm going to BRB. All right, final scene of chapter two, and then the big quest. Well, the big chapter, the, the the one I'm looking forward to. Today was quite an adventure. I just wish I could help you guys out a little bit more. You're sporting the towers more than enough. You helped us out big time. You were even gracious enough to drive us back to the city. We appreciate it, Sergeant Major. Really? You're very welcome, Ben. Remember, you can contact the guardsmen at Tangram Gate if anything ever comes up. I'll give a report what happened once I return to the deputy commander. Perfect. We'd appreciate that. See you later. Right. Hey, everyone. Good work out there. I like Noelle. She's better than Randy. Everyone's better than Randy, though. Randy's a pervert. Next on the agenda, we'll need to figure out how we're going to address security of the preview performance this weekend. Shall we return to the SSS and figure out our plan of attack? We need to contact the troop as well. First, we'll need to ascertain how the First Division intends to handle security detail. The chief <laughs> could probably do some research if we were to ask. Uh, 
it sounds like we're gonna be busy. Eh? Soon after, special sports section contacted Ark and Seal and figured out their plans for security at the preview performance. It was decided that Lloyd and Ellie would take care of the theater's interior, keeping an eye out for any suspicious individuals or happenings. And as for Randy and Teo, they would be stationed outside of the theater, conducting surveillance. Finally, the day of the preview performance. You know, I just realized. Ellie could just go with the grandfather and be like, I'm not here as a police officer. I'm here as a, the daughter of the mayor. You got nothing. <laughs> you really can't stop Ellie from going to a thing that her grandfather is going to. But I'm just here on a family outing. Completely innocent, you know. Insert innocent. In it. Very not subtle innocent whistling here. Even Mayor McDowell came to watch the performance. Oh, I guess I do remember him saying he'd support the new production to the best of his ability. That's right, Grandfather has always been a big fan of Arkansas. Sure, he's looking forward to your debut, Rishio. Aha, uh, really? I hope I can live up to his expectations. More importantly, do you really think something is going to happen, like that Yin person said? We can't be sure. Still, I think there's a good chance of it. Fortunately for us, the first division will be keeping watch, so no matter what, Ilya should be safe. That's a relief. It's really for the best to not tell Ilya what happened, though. I think the troop leader is worried, too. No, it's okay. All I want is for Ilya to shine like the star she is tonight, without any unnecessary worries dragging her down. That's what I know. That's what all of us here at Arkham Seal want. You really admire Ilya, don't you? you may I ask why? <laughs> well, she um, aggressively recruited me into the troop. Aggressively recruited. Uh-huh. Is that what we're calling it these days? Oh boy. <laughs> but even so, I was happy she wanted me to join her. After all, until it came to Crossbelt, I had only ever walked a path that was decided for me. Huh? The first time I saw one of her performances, I was positively charmed. I'd never seen someone so perfectly in their element, someone shining so brilliantly, it was blinding. She was just like the sun, just as brilliant and unreachable. Maybe that's why I ended up admiring her. Risha. Oh no. But she's not unreachable, is she? Huh? You play the role of the Moon Princess for this production. And sure, maybe the moon does borrow its light from the sun, but even though I haven't seen many plays, I can tell that both your performances are superb in their own ways. I know you'll shine brightly one day, and it'll be entirely by your own merit. You think so? Definitely, and I'm sure that's the reason why Ilya recruited you in the first place. We hit a barrier in this case, but we still managed to get this far. We intend to see this through to the end, so we want you to tackle this show with everything you've got, Lucia. I will. Well, it's time for me to go. Lloyd, Ellie, good luck you two. Well, thanks. Break a leg, Risha. Well then, do you think we should stand by somewhere else until they start? Uh, what's wrong? I don't know what I expected. I swear, will you ever learn to be self-aware or will you always be this painfully dense? Um... Who knows? Wait, what? Never mind, forget I said anything. You went and made a promise to Risha, so there's no backing out now. Let's solve this case no matter what, okay? Of course. How does this man get put in hot water constantly? We apologize for the delay. The curtain will now rise for Arkansas's breathtaking new production, A Golden Sun, Silver Moon. Please enjoy the show. The land of Ra, an ancient kingdom that prospered under the blessing and love of the goddess. Ever since the birth of Ra, the decision of who was to rule the country was held in the hands of soaring dancers known as princesses. These princesses, entrusted with the will of the goddess, brought to light the true righteous ruler of Ra by competing at the Star Sanctuary. However, ulterior motives lie in wait, leading influential figures to support different princesses, treating the holy ceremony as a trivial game. Oh no! Why does that sound familiar? At the time, some princess renowned as the greatest dance of their era arrived at the Star Sanctuary.
We need a remaster of this. It must have started. The crowd is already going wild. All that practice must have paid off. I wish I could have been able to watch it too. I'm jealous of the first division. Well, I can't imagine it's easy for them to focus on security while such an amazing play is being performed. I know I'd have trouble tearing my eyes away from the scene. You may be right. Shall we start patrolling the theater then? Let's stay out of the first division's line of sight and only peek in at the audience from time to time. Good call. It's Lloyd, can you guys hear me? Loud and clear. As it commence then. Yeah, we're about to start patrolling the inside of the theater. You need to keep a close watch on the perimeter. Roger. Zaya has graciously offered his assistance, so we'll be fine. How generous of him. I'll give you a call if you spot anyone fishy. Don't let the play distract you. Wouldn't want you guys to get caught by the first division, you know. You don't have to worry about that. Let's get started, Ellie. But first, let's check in with the staff and see if they've noticed anything out of the ordinary. Understood. Alright. Talk to Roland and Osamu in the foyer. In the room on the Performance has begun without incident. Everything is going smoothly. No suspicious individuals have been spotted either. Hopefully we can relax for now. And so the performance begins. I truly hope this evening goes by without incident. Enter the room on the left. All the floors have headed on backstage. It's time for the real show to begin. All I can do is pray for their success. To your guests, please don't enter all the stages in use or conceal. First division has been stationed backstage. We can't. We can leave this area to them. Focus on patrolling the interior of the theater inside. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. The large double doors. Look inside. Everything looks alright so far. Man, Ilya's incredible. I mean, I already knew she was, but this is just wow. I completely agree. We should look elsewhere. Continue to watch, we may end up staying for the entire play. Yeah, you're probably right. East. Everything looks good in the S section seats. Honestly, doubt we have anything to worry about with Dudley in there. You're right about that. Let's head to the next area. That's the mayor, and this is the box seating for VIPs. Will everything be alright with only one officer to be watched? At least Ernest is there to protect Grandfather. If anything were to happen, I'm sure he could take care of it. That's true. Okay. We gotta do this three times. Applause, that must mean. Yes, it seems like the first act is over. It's too bad we don't get to see the play. Thus, the Sun Princess was supported by the Mighty Tribe of Light. The Sun Princess, supported by the Mighty Tribe of Light, found herself opposed by another competitor. A new princess answered the call and entered the celestial ceremony. She was known as the Moon Princess. 
Backed by the Tribe of Night, her appearance heralded a split in the forces of Ra. It feels like it's showing us the entire thing just in bits and pieces. Sounds like the second act, act has started. Risha's giving it her all. She sure is. Her debut scene had the loudest applause yet. Shall we make another loud round, Lloyd? Definitely. Okay. We want... We'll take you for controlling the premises. We're in the second act of play now. Good, good. Everything is proceeding as smoothly as we hoped. What a great success. I am excited to begin the public performances. I'm not. We finally made it to the second act. It's time for Risha's debut. I'm sure she'll do spectacularly. Her talent has been given Ilya's stamp of approval, after all. Mm. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Hiding pastries again, are we? Will you ever learn, Fly? Rip. I'm not sure how comfortable I am being in a changing room right now. Look at she's a sorry. The first vision stage is backstage, we need to say it's them. We should focus on patrol in the interior of the I'm I'm gonna keep doing it. I, I don't know if me missing something the sign is gonna like fuck up the game. I was told to read the thing, so I'm gonna read the thing. Dudley's still there. Nothing unusual here. Wow, Dudley must have a remarkable amount of focus. He's got a full view of the sage, yet he's completely unfazed. And another example of his iron will. The man probably has tickets and is just like, yeah, I'm just gonna watch it later. Side looks good, but I think the officer assigned here has gotten a little preoccupied. We are in the middle of an Arkansas seal play. Everyone's bound to be captivated. It's fine. <clears throat> My throat is dying. Did I miss something? Um. Oh, I didn't do the center. Yeah. Nothing wrong here. Ilya is one thing, but Risha is just as amazing. Agreed. She brings her own unique style of dance to the performance. When she moves, she really has the air of a moon princess, bathed in silver light. Okay, now we go in and out. Yep. I missed the center. That's funny. And that's the end of the second act. And the crowd just can't get enough. Alright. Oh.
Or is it simply a whim of the goddess or perhaps a bit of mischief? To her surprise, the Sun Princess learned that the Moon Princess was not a stranger, but her younger sister, separated from her at a tender age. That's where they're going with this? Unaware of this revelation, the Moon Princess faced her sister with a cold, hostile spirit. The distraught Sun Princess, concealing her true identity with a gown and mask of white, beckoned the Moon Princess to the forest ruins. The very same ruins as whose sisters once frolicked through in their youth. A secret place known only to the two, where they could dance and play under the thick forest canopy. Third act is where things usually start turning around for the protagonists, right? The audience seems to be eating it up. I know I am. It's rare to see a play this marvelous. I can't imagine it getting any better. Now if only it would end without incident. Yeah, I sure hope so too. Even if it means that we don't catch the culprit, it'd be for the best. We have 40 minutes of cutscenes remaining. If I had to do the third act. Oh, fucks. No, I'm not doing this. So, with that, <laughs> because I'm not sitting here for 40 minutes of cutscenes when I have less than 18 minutes left of stream before the hard lo before the hard stoppage point. I'm gonna end off here today. I will be back not tomorrow because I have to go watch a movie. So uh, be sure to look out for the video on that on the RL channel. But I will be back Monday, probably, with uh, more of this. So I will see you guys 